It's your boy Lagan24 coming at you with some Black Ops 3 Zombies. What's up, every buddy? What's going on, you guys? And welcome back to the Giant. Today, we're going to be playing a little bit of gum game. That's G U M. Gum game. And this is just like the gun game that I did on Grod Krovi. But you guys were kind enough to remind me that Lagan, this isn't gum game. This is more like Sharpshooter, and I just don't like the way Sharpshooter sounds, so let's just go with Gum Game, as suggested by the fans in a comment section of that very video. So I thought that was pretty clever, and that's what we're going to go with. So if you're not aware, Disorderly Combat, you see the gum up in the type top right corner of the screen right now, will give you a new gun in your hands every 10 seconds for 5 minutes. That's so crazy, and we're going to have fun with this, so we're just going to play. I only have four of them. Uh, but that's okay. That's, we can make some fun out of this nevertheless. I'm going to try to tr uh, chain them together. So when I get one, not only am I going to be playing with a new gun every 10 seconds, I'm also going to spin the gobble gun machine each round and kind of set up for that next disorderly combat. So that way, hopefully, we have uninterrupted gameplay of me just cycling through guns the entire time we're on the giant. Uh, we'll try to use all four, and that'll be the end of it. Let's let's go ahead and get our spin on right now, see if we get lucky on the first one. It's not going to happen. <gasps> it's not going to happen. Oh, my God, it happened. So uh, <laughs> that's crazy. I didn't expect to get it on the very first one. So you guys were telling me also in the Garad Kurovi version that if I were to have a Pack-a-Punched based weapon, so if I bought the Kuda and Pack-a-Punched it, every single gun in Disorderly Combat would also be Pack-a-Punched. I'm going to avoid doing that for the sake of this being a challenge as I'm doing finger quotes. This is more of a fun thing. than It's not that challenging. I mean, it gets interesting as you get into the high teens and 20s and stuff like that. It definitely gets interesting because you may have a really strong gun in your hand and then the next second you may have the Pharaoh in your hand and you might have to shoot your way out of a jam with the Pharaoh, which isn't the easiest thing to do when this thing's not Pack-a-Punched and you're not on round two, you know what I mean? So we'll have to be careful. Uh, this should be a lot of fun, though. I'm really looking forward to this one. So, like, right now, it's round three. I might as well, as soon as that turns over to 500, just go ahead and get a couple of gobblegum spins out of the way. And then uh, that way, when we do run out of our five-minute timer, we should have another gub, gub, uh, disorderly combat kind of almost ready to be pulled. Now, what would really suck is if we got that rare, very rare uh, double disorderly combat normally what happens is you get a gobble gum you won't see that gobble gum again for at least another three or four more spins but sometimes you get them back to back it's very rare but sometimes you do i'm hoping that doesn't happen at all if if it does we'll just grab the new one and reset the timer but like right now we're only about a minute and a half into this thing so i'd hate to get another one already so i'd be careful and hopefully just fingers crossed it doesn't go up go down like that but i also need to progress through the map so i don't want to there we go we need that progress through the map so i don't want to like um i definitely don't want to spend all of my points on just trying to set up for the next gobble gum which is why i mean i could go up there right now or in a second anyways now i could and spend it for 1500 but i'm not doing that because i need points to open doors and stuff so let's go ahead and open a door speaking of and we'll roll out to power i don't think i'll have enough though yeah so we're gonna have to wait a minute i'll probably do another gobble gum spin here and we should have enough points by the end of this round to go out to where power is and I'm not going to worry about opening Pack-a-Punch. I am going to take that Perkaholic, though. Oh, if I do that, is it going <gasps> to... Lag in! Well, I didn't think that through. <laughs> That's pretty much a waste. God damn it. Without a doubt. Without a doubt in my mind. By the way, I bought the Vesper uh, as my, my core gun. But without a doubt in my mind, this next spin right here is going to be Disorderly Combat. There it is. There it is. Awesome. All right, let's not screw up again, all right? I won't screw up again. My bad on that one. <laughs> that was so bad, man. But at least I got all my perks now. It's, just, yeah, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. I don't know why I brought Perkaholic. It's so damn tempting to grab. And you don't even need Perkaholic for this map. It's like there's really only four perks you want to buy on this map, so you're kind of wasting a Perkaholic. Well, I kind of wasted. You guys didn't do anything wrong. So I'm going to spin again. Let's hope we don't get the second one in a row. If we do, I might just leave it. I might not reset it. I might just leave it to go back in Dr. Monty's machine here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Come on, come on. Reset the price, reset the price. It always takes so long to reset the price. It drives me crazy. There we go. No back to back, no back to back. Good, 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 good. All right, don't pick it up. Whatever it is, just don't pick it up for the love of God. That was so bad. See, I'm going to hang out right here, I think, uh, for this round. We got enough points to open up some of the map. But I'm going to play in the spawn room for this round, and then we're going to open up some of the map. 
We're not really going to focus on opening up Pack-a-Punch. Uh, because I don't want to pack a punch because then all of my disorderly combat weapons will be pack a punch And that just seems overpowered at that point. I want this to be a little more ridiculous And challenging if I can get it there if I can get it there But guys if you enjoy this uh, fun way of playing zombies make sure you are dropping a like subscribe if you are new I'd really appreciate it. Thank you so much on the road to 300,000 subscribers And maybe we'll get there one day with your help. Maybe probably not. We will how dare me how dare me be negative. So, Infinite Warfare Zombies. I feel like we have so much to talk about. What did you guys think of Zombies in Spaceland? So they did the trailer, right? And then, then they did a live stream where they answered like so many questions. It was crazy. I couldn't believe how many questions or not even questions. They just told us so much about their zombie mode that I was like, what is this? You can't tell us all this. This is unheard of. You guys keep zombies under lock and key for months and months and months. And then you tell us at the last second about it. But now we know so much about it. Here, let's let's move over to the other area, shall we? Uh, we? We know so much about it now that I feel like a little excitement is gone. But also, I'm so pleasantly surprised at what they have done that I'm still excited. I'm still excited. I just wish some of the stuff was still left a secret. But we could talk about some of the cool stuff if you guys want to. Also, there should be a poll in the top right corner of the screen. Uh, and you can answer that. I think it's like a little I. And you click on the I. Like the letter I. And um, you click on that. The poll should open up. At least if you're on PC. I don't know how it works on mobile so much. But anyways, if you want to take the poll, go right ahead. But, um... There is something called Lost and Found in the Zombie Land Space, uh, Space, what the hell is it called? Space Land Zombie Theme Park? Yeah, there we go, Space Land, right? It's an amusement park, is where we're going to be playing the first map at. And there's something called Lost and Found, which if you don't know, you know, you lose something. A good Samaritan would pick it up and then go take it up front to the ticket booth and they'd put it in a pile with all the lost stuff and you come and claim it later on. You're like, hey, that's my jacket. Well, at this Lost and Found, apparently if you go down... Instead of getting back up and having to rebuy all of your perca colas and maybe you even had a pack a punch gun, you can go to Lost and Found, pay a fee. I don't know what the fee is, but I'm sure it's it's probably not the cheapest thing, but it's probably not the most expensive thing either. You get everything you had before you went down right back. Isn't that crazy? I think that's such a good idea. And I love it. I love it. It kind of reminds you of some of the gobble gums that we have seen in Black Ops 3 um, or even Tombstone to a degree. It's pretty cool. All right, I am going to go ahead and grab this and just reset. Let's just reset it. So we got... We have not used a full one of these yet. This is my third one. We're going to be running out soon. Let's see. If we use this one to its max, should get us to around 15 or so. And if we chain that last one together... Yeah, it looks like it's going to be a 20-round challenge if we're lucky. If we're lucky. But hey, hey, I do what I can with what I got, all right? I still have a lot of these gums. I have to stock back up so we can do another one of these. I want to try it on, like... Uh, maybe Darius and Draco or, or even Zetsubunoshima. But yeah, I'm gonna hold out right here for a minute with my, my sick ass L car. So what we were talking about, we were talking about Infinite Warfare, we were talking about uh hell, I don't even remember. Next awesome subject with Infinite Warfare zombies. Uh they've also mentioned fate and fortune cards. Uh, which are going to be very similar to Gobblegum. Apparently you can use a certain amount per match. I guess there is a limit on them, but they will either aid you or aid a teammate. It'll aid you or the team, which is awesome. So, sounds like Gobblegum, if you ask me. And there is also going to be a Pack-A-Punch system. They didn't show it to us. They didn't tell us much about it. But that is cool to know that there is a Pack-A-Punch. Alright, I'm going to spin this again. I just want to keep setting up. Keep setting up. Jeez, I might as well. Let me just spin this 2,500. I don't care. I didn't realize I had that many points. Get out of here, Perkaholic. Yet. So, Man of War. That's... Oh, no. We're still on our... We're still on our gum. I thought I had the Man of War for some reason as my stock weapon, but I don't. I don't. I have the uh, Vesper. Spin it again. Stop, dogs. Now's not the time. What did we get? What did we get? All right, cool. No more spins right now. We'll spin it again in another round or two. Uh, I don't want I don't want to get the other one. I mean, I can just let it stay in there, but... I feel like we're probably one, probably like two or three spins away from getting it again. So let's just leave it for right now. Uh, yeah, but the Fate and Fortune cards sound very much like like uh, Gobblegum. So that's cool. See a little familiarity there. Uh, just kind of presented it in a different way. Uh, looks like all the core things that we love about zombies 
are still going to be implemented. So like, you know, removing barriers, a point system, round base, Easter eggs are there. They, they explain the Easter eggs. There's a lot of little Easter eggs. And then there's the big Easter eggs for the more, the more like uh, uh, hardcore zombie fans. So that's cool. We'll have a main quest as well as little small things here and there too. So that's, that's really, really good news. Uh, they said that they did develop the characters quite a bit. Matter of fact, they kind of told us the story which is weird. I can't believe they told us so much already, but the story goes as follows. So the mo the four main characters we saw in the trailer, apparently were auditioning for a Willard Wyler film of a previous film that he had, Zombies in Spaceland. That's the previous film, it was really popular. And apparently he uh, wanted these actors, I guess maybe they're gonna recreate the film, remaster it, I'm, I'm not quite sure. So he had them all stand up on stage and audition in front of a big screen. And I think he said to get him in the mood, he was going to turn on his zombie in Spaceland theater and have them watch it before they acted out their, their roles or something like that. And when he turned it on, he opened up a portal inside of the movie theater right on the screen and it sucked the four playable characters in and it sucked them right into the movie. And now they are playing as actors in the movies, but not acting. They're in danger. The movie is real at this point to these poor actors. So I think that's what's happening. I think that's the story. And I think we're gonna get more about Willard Wyler. Apparently he, he made some really insane like horror flicks that were able to mesmerize and captivate the audiences, sort of like mind control, which then turned them into blood lusting zombies somehow. And look, man, if, if Treyarch can be as crazy and as weird as they have been with their storyline, I'm okay with the storyline. It doesn't necessarily have to make sense right now because if they do a good job uh, later on filling in the blanks with uh, information, it'll all make sense at some point. But right now, I think that's kind of the story with Willard Wyler. He has a way of mind controlling people into having a horrendous, like a horrendous bloodlust to kill, I guess. So we'll see how that all plays out. I'm gonna go ahead and spin it again. We should be getting close as we're about to run out of this gum. Okay, so maybe next spin or the spin after that, I'm thinking. But yeah, we are definitely about to run out. We got about 30, 20 seconds left on this gum. I'm going to just do another quick spin. Come on, come on. 25 hundo, don't care. I'm not spinning points on anything, really. All right, next spin for sure, right? For sure. For sure. Get back in there, gum. All right, come on, come on, come on. I kind of hope it's not the next spin, actually. I wonder how much, uh, so it should be what, 2,000 again? I can't stand next to that machine or I'm gonna get overwhelmed by zombies. So, guys, I will be right back as soon as I get a disorderly combat. I believe it's gonna be probably, if I can't squeeze a couple more spins in this round, it should definitely be on round 16 we should be getting it. So I'll see you guys very soon. All right, guys, looks like this is our last one. If I hadn't screwed up that first one, we probably would be able to get through our normal round goal of 24 playing this, but it looks like that goal is gonna be cut short today, but that's all right, we got five full minutes. I'm gonna try to push this all the way to round 20 within five minutes, and in order to do that, I'm gonna get in one spot so they all spawn in nice and close and come right at me. And this is dangerous, because if you think about it, normally you'd be up here with pack bunch weapon, and like stuff like the Pharaoh and L car is gonna be kind of an issue if there's a bunch pushing us at once. You know, headshot's gonna be super important, but I do have double tap and I do have speed cola, so I'm pretty confident that we can stand up here for the next uh, couple rounds, uh, probably like three rounds with this five minute timer, and uh, get through this without any problems. But if we do have a problem, oh well, I'm in it for the entertainment, damn it. Let's go. So that's pretty much it on Infinite Warfare Zombies. Well, not really. There's a lot of information, but um, there's also, geez, an arcade where you can play actual games like skee ball and cabinet games, you know, with the joystick and buttons and the big stupid screen. And you can earn tickets, and with those tickets, you're able to get, like, special weapons on the map, which is so cool. I mean, that's fun. If you're playing solo, it might be a bit tricky. I'm not sure how you plan on playing those games. If, if like, maybe when you go into the game cabinet, if there's a zombie left on the map, they can't get you or something. I'm not sure. But if you're playing co-op, seems like it'll be pretty easy. Someone just holds a zombie. Everyone goes plays the video games. Um, and then, of course, if... You die. This is a great, great thing. If you die and you're waiting to get spawned back in because the other players have to complete the round, you can play in the arcade and earn yourself tickets and points And while you're in there. So when you spawn back in the next round, you'll have potentially enough tickets to get a really cool gun or points to, you know, buy whatever perks or go to the lost and found that we talked about already. Uh, so that's really cool. I love that addition. So I think they're doing some really neat stuff. 
And I can't wait to see more and hear about it more. And uh, I will be getting my hands on Infinite Warfare Zombies in a couple of weeks. In a couple of weeks, I'll be playing that shit uh, at God XP. So I'm super excited about that. And I'll be seeing a bunch of my YouTube homies. And that's it. That's what that's what we got. That's what we got for IW Zombies at the moment. There's been some other little details here and there. Uh, but I think that's just kind of like the, the main chunk core of the game so far. And I think it looks great too. Oh, God. Okay, RM, please. You're usually so good. Okay. Okay, there we go. Oh, man, that was kind of sketchy. That was kind of sketchy. That's how we're going to do it, huh? We got two and a half minutes left. Round 17. I said I was going to try to get to... Round 20, before the gum ran out, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to hustle if we're doing that. Let's go, zombies, get here. It's not my fault they're taking their sweet time. Oh god, there's a slow one somewhere. Zombie! There we go, there we go. Wow, usually the last zombie's pretty fast. Alright, round 18. Let's go, let's go. Uh Dr. Monty face reveal. That was something excited that happened this past week. So they showed us a small little uh clip with Dr. Monty and he addressing our Four heroes in the ether, which was really cool. And he talks about, you know, they got to do the right thing for everybody. And uh, you can't break certain rules. You can't break. And yeah, I don't know. They're showing blood. The man was wearing a red scarf, which I think was pretty cool Easter egg that someone noticed in my comment section. Uh, if, we, if you remember on Origins, there was the red scarf. And people have speculated about the red scarf. Now, it could just be coincidence, but I don't think so. No, in Treyarch, they have a way of putting things together to where it all adds up. At some point. So I'm pretty sure that was kind of their way of letting us know that Dr. Monty has been here the whole time. Whether we knew it or not. Now I get the vibe that Dr. Monty is not a good guy at all. I also get the vibe that Richtofen is still up to something. Regardless of how nice he seems. There are some character quotes here and there that make you scratch your head about Richtofen. I don't know if we're going to get to fight Maxis, Samantha, Dr. Monty. Who's going to be the boss in this last fight? Will it be the giant squid thing in the sky that we saw in Shadows of Evil and also saw a painting of in Derisendrak? We can't forget about that. And of course, let's not forget that the Shadow Man is inside the summoning key. So there are a lot of options for the boss and how this could go and and what we're going to be doing in Revelation. So very excited. Also in that little trailer with Dr. Monty, it's on the channel right now if you haven't seen it. Feel free to go check it out. Um, but also in that trailer, I believe there was some Mob of the Dead music going on in there too, which is to be expected because of the blood vials. Oh God, guys. Oh God, because of the blood vials, we got about 20 seconds left maybe. Bad dogs. Bad zombies. Oh, thank God the gun changed. Thank God. Go, go, go. It's a race against time now. I want to get to round 20 so bad before it runs out, but I don't think we're gonna, guys. I don't think we're gonna. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm going to have to hop down here because I'm going to have to shitty Vesper in a second. Go, go, go. That's it. Gun game over. Gum game over. And it looks like we're going to make it just just shy of round 20. Uh, but I don't have any more, so that sucks. I think I used all four that we brought into the game. Uh, so it seems like I probably need five in the future. My bad. We'll, we'll make sure I get five next time and do this again. Next time I get five, we'll go to a different map. Now's a great time to leave down below what map you'd like to see gum game on next. And if you'd like to see me do anything specific with it, or if you kind of like the way I attempted but failed at setting it up, where we just try to chain them all together like that, let me know. Let me know. Guys, that'll be it for today's video. Drop a like on it if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you are new. Zombie content all week, every week. And I will see you uh, next time.